What do you think you'll think about now, knowing that there's a 10 there, but no one else will ever wear that again? You know, when I, when I started my first game, you know, 17 years ago, you know, it, it was not the thought that, hey, my jersey's definitely getting retired with the New York Giants. It's going to be special. It's going to be a very emotional day and kind of one, one last farewell to all those fans. They you know, supported me during my time with the Giants. I just appreciate their, their loyalty and their support through all these years. Eli, I love you. You know this is coming from Tracy. I love you, E. As Eli Manning will be entering the Ring of Honor, his number 10 jersey retired here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. special halftime ceremony for you. And now in full formation, led out by his offensive line, number 10, Eli Manning. Eli, you represented this team with pride, with dignity, and with class. We now welcome you into our ring of honor and tell you that no giant will ever wear number 10 again. Thank you so much. I am grateful and honored to be here today. I'd like to thank the mayor and the Tiss families for making this possible. Being a part of the New York Giants organization has been one of the great joys of my life. I'm indebted to so many wonderful coaches and great teammates, and I'm lucky that I still get to call so many of them mentors and friends now. This day would not be possible without the love and support of my family. And last but not least, a big thank you to the great New York Giants fans. I'm going to miss running out through that tunnel and hearing your cheers. And thank you for this incredible journey. Wellington Mayor said, once a giant, always a giant. I'm glad I'm only a giant. Thank you very much. Now let's unveil Eli's permanent place amongst Giants legends. There are two plays that are forever etched in Super Bowl history. Give me Mario Manningham. Give me David Tyree. So many uh, teammates, you know, come out to support me and uh, coaches, and just a really special day and uh, one I'll always remember.
field and just kind of hearing that crowd, you know, hearing those cheers. That's something uh, when you retire, you, know, you, you miss those things. You miss that, that feeling and that adrenaline rush. And so uh, I was just proud to give kind of that one last cheer from the fans here in this stadium. It was really special.